Under my new game, everyone gets ice cream. New game! Time to check the email. The email, the email, the email. Oh no! The lobby is missing! Hi, folks. My name is Strongbad. You may remember me as pretty much the coolest guy or sandwich ever, 98. Or the fellow what stole your girlfriend. Welcome to the required by video game law tutorial portion of my awesome game. It seems as though someone has stolen my state-of-the-art laptop computer. And you, yes you, need to help me find out who. Okay, let's take a look around my computer room. Highlight various items of interest in the room by pressing the L1 or R1 buttons. Then press X to confirm that, yes, I do want to check out, pick up, or otherwise perform random acts of violence upon this item. Ah, my trusty steed. Stooley, I'd ride you into email battle any day. Yeah, those are my old computer games. They don't even work on the lappy, but I keep them around so people know how cool I am for keeping them around. I totally stole this from my nerdy little brother, Strong Sad. Man, that guy is such a whiny baby. He's probably crying over losing it right now. Okay, this is an item that I'm going to keep. That means that it's going into my inventory, or collection of surprisingly useful, useless crap. To see the stuff in my inventory, just press the square button on your controller. But don't think about doing it until I'm done talking. What were you, raised in a do-stuff-while-cool-people-are-still-talking barn? Then just cycle through the things you want to use the magnifying glass on by pressing the L1 and R1 buttons, and then press the X button. It's like, super easy, man. Oh man, could that be a clue in the area where my laptop computer used to be? I wish I could somehow see it bigger. Aha! I'd recognize that pudgy grape jelly stained fingerprint anywhere. It belongs to Dun Dun Dun! My little brother Strong Sad! Let's go across the hall into his room and unethically interrogate him. Check this out. Ah, I sometimes get tired of that. Strong Bad, get out of here. I'm trying to get ready for the big 19th century Scotland Yard LARP festival, and I can't find my authentic Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass. That whitey sack of gray dump over there is Strong Sad. If you want me to talk to him, use your trusty L1 and R1 buttons to select him. Then, you guessed it, press that X button. You'll see a bunch of stuff appear over my head. They represent topics I can talk about. Let's try talking to him about his own miserable self first. Hey, little brother. Yes? Select a picture of Strong Sad's ugly face in the bubble above my head and press X. Sometimes when talking to people, I can choose between saying something nice or saying something I would say. Choose the angel me to say something nice or the devil me to be more of a jerk. Nice hat. It distracts people from your grotesquely bulbous midsection. It's a tweed deerstalker hat. I am sure that it is. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's shake him down about my stolen laptop. Hey, little brother. Yes? Where is my lappy, you two-bit thief? What? Uh, no, I told you, I don't want to be part of your stupid tutorial. If you want your magnifying glass back, you will. 
fine. Give it back and I'll say my line. To give my brother back his magnifying glass, just get it from your inventory and use it on him. Just like you did with the fingerprint in my computer room. Here's your nerd glass. Now where's my lappy? Thank you. I pawned your lappy to Bubs so I could afford... Do I have to say it? Foot replacement surgery. Well, you sure need it, pal. But that's no reason to steal someone else's expensive high-tech electronic styles. I need to get to Bubs. Hey, Bubs, I heard my stupid brother was down here. Hi, strong man. Here's your laptop computer. Bubs, what are you doing? That part comes at the end of the tutorial. You're supposed to be sad in this part. I am? Oh, yeah, right. Why do I even bother with rehearsals? Hi, strong man. I'm feeling so sad today that I think I'm just gonna close up and go home. No, Bubs. Wait. I need the lappy. If I want this guy to cooperate, I'd better change his mood. There are usually a variety of ways to change people's moods. You'll figure this out as you go. Generally, I find kissing up or breaking their stuff usually gets the desired response. In this case, go ahead and give old Bluehead a compliment to cheer him up. Cheer up, Bubs. At least you're not on fire. That's the best compliment you could come up with? Just stick to the script. Thanks, muscular strong band. I feel much better. Did my dumpy little brother bring my laptop computer to you? He sure did. He tried to pawn it to get money for some kind of foot replacement surgery. But I know how much pirated software you've got on there, so I kept it for you. Lucky you did, or both you and Strong Sad would be in for a world of hurtings from me, the awesome one, the Strong Bad. All right, I got my lappy back. So there you go, folks. That should be everything you need to know to play this best game ever. Now get out there and have some fun at the expense of others. And don't make me look bad. Or good. Don't make me look good. I got a bad reputation to uphold. Hey, where's my money? I'm getting paid for this, right? Under my new game! Under my new game! Everyone gets ice cream! I don't know what I've been told. Email's best when it don't scroll. Hey, strong bad. What's the dumbest law the king of town has ever passed? Don't you think yo would be a better ruler than the king of town? Your pal, Roy T. Castle Hill. Well, Roy D. It goes without saying I'd be a better ruler than the king of town. But seriously, who wants that job? Stuck in a castle all day? Stuck making dumb laws? Probably stuck in the bathtub? No thanks, man. And the king of town's mostly harmless. Sure, he's stupid looking, as the scientific diagram illustrates. But he stays out of my business, and that lazy fair approach to government is a welcome alternative. Oh, I think I'd like to go to the lazy fair. Aha! Uh -huh. Caught you red gloveded! The king of town? How'd you get in here? In flagrant disregard of my new email tax, eh? One creamy ding snack cake for every email sent or received. Email tax? Flagrant? Creamy ding? Oh, so you refuse to pay. Poopsmith, administer the color of obedience. What are you doing? Hey, You're cut under that house arrest. Ow, you have the right to bribe me. Anything you offer will be eaten by me, whether cooked or raw. Try walking past that fence downstairs and blammo! Hope you weren't too attached to that head. And one more thing. My map? I need that! This will make sure you stay put until you can pay up! Now let's ride, Poopsmith! Gotta go collect on my new pour-a-bag of jelly beans down my gullet tax! House arrest? Oh man, this is the worst thing to happen to my style in a long line of bad things happening to my style! I gotta find a way out of here and give that uncharacteristically oppressive king of town a serious mustache pounding!
Ah, my trusty steed. Stooley, I'd ride you into email battle any day. Gotta remember this date, the worst day in the whimsical history of wrongful imprisonment. Stupid king of stupid town. I really gotta update that sign with something more forceful, but uh, that sounds like too much work. I can't unplug the Lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. Lappy don't charge on weekends. What are you guys doing here? Can't you see I got enough troubles? I'm a political prisoner. That's why we're here, Strong Bad. This is a peaceful protest rally. Peaceful? Free Strong Bad! No taxing without representing. Save the bats. I even wrote you a protest song. Come on, everybody now. Can't you hear the wind blow? We don't like the king of town making people's heads explode. Ah, cruel and unusual! Are you losers just gonna stand around losing? Or help me get past that fence? That would be illegal! I can't go back to the joint again, man. I ain't going. We started a collection to help pay your back taxes. You're welcome. Why'd you bring that ugly, misshapen stick? She organized the protest rally. Not marzipan, though that's a pretty good one. Gotta remember that. I'm talking about that stick dangerously close to the invisible fence. That's our orphigy of the king of town. Or orphigy. RPG. First person shooter. Effigy? That looks nothing like the king of town. Yeah, Buzzy Pan made us take all that stuff off. Right, Homestar. We're protesting the actions of the king of town, not the man himself. Find the power! We well, was gonna burn it, but after looking at that pathetic thing, our hearts just ain't in it. We wanna fry up the king of town, not Stickball Jackson. Man, this is so unfair. I gotta write an angry letter to my doughy congressman. Didn't you see the warning message about the new email tax? No, I didn't see the warning message about the new email tax. All messages from the king of town get intercepted with extreme prejudice by my idiot filter. But I sent you all kinds of my new emails. Idiot filter. Idiot, never mind. Please, strong bad. If you're gonna beat me up, make it quick. I've got a full agenda today. What was all that noise about? Oh, great! Stuck under house arrest with no one but little Lord Fat Leroy, the most depressing kid brother ever left on the front porch by gross gypsies. That's never been proven. The king of town put me under house arrest. House arrest? That's not fair. Seriously? I mean, wait, why are you upset? I was hoping you'd get sent back to prison and I'd get some peace. I've got an unassembled model of the Con Tiki that's just waiting for your next incarceration. What's the best way to destroy an invisible fence? Well, if you can short out the transformer, then do that. Otherwise, burn... Hey, wait a second. Is this something illegal? No, it's a radio call-in show question. Hurry up so I can be the fourth caller. I don't want to get charged with aiding and abetting a criminal again. I used to like Sloshy, until I found out they had short hair and glasses. Strong Sad likes to call this his deathbed. I like to call it his wet de bed.
Strong Sad's old security blanket? Strong Mad's new athletic region towel? Ah, toilet humor. I stopped looking through these cabinets after I found Strong Mad's tube of below the belt paste. <laughs> Sparkling clean! Must have been Obsessio Depressio's turn to clean the bathroom this week. It's my turn every week. Hey, who put the Muscle Face 2 movie poster up in the bathroom? Ah, uh, oh wait, it's just my reflection. Strongman's room has been off limits ever since that crate of bug bombs mysteriously went off inside his closet. It should be all cleared out in about a month, though. I love how the fridge smells like rotting vegetables when there's never been a vegetable in it. Strong sad suicidal houseplant. If only we had read his journal, we might have seen the signs. An invisible fence that makes your head explode when you cross it. Seemed like such an awesome idea when I recommended it at the last town meeting. Few can withstand the otherworldly horror of Ugrug, the world's ugliest rug. Oh, man, of all the weeks I could have picked to install steel bars on all the ground floor windows. Or at least it stopped strong man sleepwalking. With just a bed and a little imagination, home organization is a breeze. Ah, my wall is exploding with video games! Ah, meow, meow. All right, the Tarantula Black Metal Detector! Now with built-in shovel attachment. I probably could have finished making Dangerous 3 by now if I hadn't spent so much time working on that teaser poster. Pretty good likeness of the leading man, though. Well, hello, Mr. Hot. I'm gonna stop hitting on myself. My crown from Blubbo's! Why did they ever stop making the jalapeno and king snake meat double deluxe? Why? A big fat pillow filled with big fat dust mites. Tanks from the 23rd and 48th Battalion were flanked by tanks from the enemy's 56th Battalion. It was then that General Smithfordshire revealed his secret weapon, a slightly larger tank. And we only get the History Unleashed channel? This is torture! The couch is in pretty bad shape. I gotta stop sleeping so hard. The key to surviving in prison is to not hang out in the laundry room for too long. Or Shiv City, as I like to call it. 
Those are pennants from various academic institutions, unaccredited and discredited alike. I knew if I ran them in the dryer a few hundred times, they'd shrink down to my size. Nah. Hey, Dumplestiltskin. Feeling drowsy? I am a little... Wait a second. Are you gonna try and smother me with a pillow again? Well, not now, since you ruined the surprise. Mm, nope. That won't do anything interesting. No taxing without representing. Ah, my trusty steed. Stool it. Dear citizen, this message is to inform you of the new email tax, effective immediately and retroactively in the form of one creamy dang snack cake per message sent or received, including this one. Please make a note of it. Violators will be persecuted. Your ruler for eternity, the king of town. P.S. Direct all complaints to my hinder. I still say the wording of that message is legally vague. Hey, strong bad. What do the rest of the on-point kings do when you're not hanging out with them? And are you still looking for new members? Lloyd Renault. The On Point Kings is a pretty exclusive group. The toughest of the tough, the coolest of the cool, and the somethingest of the something. That pretty much rules out guys in Reno named Lloyd. We'll keep your resume crumpled up and stuffed down Strongmad's tube socks, though. As for what the cheat and Strongmad do when I'm not around, I imagine they sit around discussing whatever cool thing I did or said or sat on earlier that day. Those guys have the unspoken bond of lifelong friends. Which is good, because speaking isn't either of their strong suits. What's up, sexy Strongmad? I'm a lagging at this one all out already. Don't take this the wrong way, but we think that Pom Pom is the hottest. Is he available? Jules and Jess, noisy chewers. Oh, ladies, I guess? If I weren't already swimming in a hundred dollar bill shaped pool full of email offers from co-educated females, I might be offended, but I am. Splash, splash, emails. So I can afford to let Pom Pom have a little overflow action. I don't know about his availability though. He usually stops playing the field at around a hundred girlfriends. I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Most of the girls Pom Pom dates have names that don't sound suspiciously like two dudes. Jesse the boy and Jules the Vernes' great great grandson. P.S. You both look fat. P.P.S. Double burn. Bonjour, strong bad. What's the deal with that Homsar guy? I can't understand a thing he says. Is he making fun of me? Confused, Paul W. Athens, mm, 
Hamsarg. Uh, bonjour, Le Paul. Nobody can understand a thing that Hamsar says. Theories abound as to the cause of this baffling condition, but one thing's for sure. He is, like the rest of us, regardless of language, creed, or beliefs, making fun of you. So thank you, Les Paul, for bringing people together. <coughs> Yo, strong bad. Is Homestar still trying to find people to be in the Homestar me? I want to enlist, but only if he helps pay for college. Ready to fight, Benf. Well, Benf, the Homestar me will take just about anybody. Where well, Homestar already blew their entire scholarship fund on an invisible time machine that I sold him. So sorry, no college fund. Which bringeth me to my second point. I'm not thinking your biggest obstacle in college is going to be financial if you get my drift. I'd start figuring out where in your parents' basement you're gonna hang your Bob Marley poster once you move back in. Hey, strong bad! What's the dumbest law the king of town has ever passed? King of town? Intriguing! Stupid king of stupid town! Save the bats! The king of town put me under house arrest. House arrest? That's not fair. Serious? I was hoping you'd get sent. I've got... Nothing interesting. No way. Hey, Dumple Stiltskin. Feeling drowsy? I am a little. Wait a second. Are you gonna try and smother me with a pillow again? Well, not now, since you ruined the surprise. Wow, Marzipan, you've outdone yourself this time. You really nailed the eyes. It's like I'm staring into the king's beer-battered soul. Man, ain't that always the way? The one day an interesting package comes in the mail is the day you get put under house arrest for tax evasion. I'm gonna have to get rid of that fence before I become a sickly, pale shut-in like Strongsad. Power to the people! Any ideas how I can break house arrest and get past that fence? No, but I've got some great ideas for things you can do indoors. Build a birdhouse, make a rabbit lean-to, construct a beetle pagoda, any ideas that don't involve me wanting to blow my brains out? Hmm, probably not. Shouldn't you all be putting a torch to that quote-unquote effigy? Eh, it's just a stick. Can't really get into protest in a simple stick. My people, we can no longer suffer under the invisible boot of this power-mad tyrant. A call to arms! Who's with me? Strong man! Me? I suppose you think you're really funny. Mm, nope. 
No way. No blood for creamy dings. Royal robe and size husky? Check. Hey, to cheat. What's red and fat and smells like rancid meatloaf? Yeah, no, the other thing. <laughs> Shouldn't you all be putting a torch to that quote-unquote effigy?